Well, good morning. I, I am wonderfully embarrassed by how so many of you are here. I say that because I'm going to mark the room and say, your pants are in straight lines. We are creative people. But then I realize that you have not much choice about it. Um, I was going to give some extra talk and whatnot, but not, but no, you're having your talk for the morning. So, but set you up. so first of all, welcome to, again, Faculty of Humanities in Education. I did promise you I would come in in another capacity. Yes, my name is Jessel Murray, and I am the head of the Department of Creative and Festival Arts. If you can see me all morning in that other capacity, and this is here, you will be seeing quite a lot of us. Wanted to remind you, first of all, all of you here who are in the DCFA, um, that on Friday we'll be meeting again because what will happen is that we have our department but each department has a specific unit. Um, there's dance, there's visual arts, there's theater and of course there's music. So you're going to be meeting the coordinators or the heads of each of those units today briefly. They're going to set up, they'll talk a little bit about themselves, they're going to take you through one or two activities. Yes, you might end up moving, so I'm letting you know now so you can let go of your possessions in a moment because they might ask you to move and do strange things. Once you come to the DCFA, you're going to be doing strange things. That's what we do as creators. And yes, we have some chairs coming in. And, and but we would like to invite you immediately to come on Friday at the Cheeseman Building, um, starting at 1 o'clock. They can tell you our big divisions for which sort of things there. We want to invite you one time to come into our, to our premises. You can see where we are. We can discuss all kinds of things like food. We we'll discuss things like shuttle. We discuss things like taking ownership of our particular ground. We also take ownership that we are not open campus. You see a huge sign saying open campus. We love them dearly, but we are DCFA. <laughs> Please do not come and tell me. Up to the other day, somebody who was in our department said, I need to get my transcript from open campus. I said, well, what did you do? Send the music. Okay, I'll give it away. And I said, but you came, you are the DCFA by open campus. Oh, I always thought I was at the open campus. No, you are the DCFA. You will see a sign saying open campus. If we get vexed, we'll cover it up so you don't even have to worry about it. All right, welcome to all of you here. Um, one of the things that we would like to start thinking about, especially since you're in this room, is start thinking as artists, not only about your practice, but also what's going to happen afterwards. One of the things that you can start thinking about and using are the people in this room who will become your collaborators. Collaborate across the performing and the visual arts. Those of you who are in the certificate programs, you'll be in a course called Caribbean Lab. That will be this semester. That will be your first point of collaboration. Get to know their persons, get to know their strengths and what, and what they do, and start thinking, oh, you can do. I really meant to just know when I amplify with the dean's sort of question. You are no longer secondary school. This is university. If you want something to happen, you make it happen. You have an idea, flesh it out, take it to the coordinators, take it, bring it to the head, and sit down and we'll say it, what cost, what benefit, and we get to do. This is a university. You are meant to question. We are not afraid to say we don't know the answer, but we will help you research it. Last thing is, and some of you are already very much even better than, than we are, learn to market yourself right away. But market yourself, and one of the things I have to urge you even from now, market yourself as part of the DCFA and UWI. Use our name to move forward. I get very frustrated, and I saw it the other day, where somebody went onto the television in a place, I don't say where, and I sat with bated breath for the eight minutes of interview, waiting for DCFA slash UE. I don't know what was done before, I don't know what was done outside, and I just clicked off. Because people are forgetting where we are and what we do together, not to urge you. So, start thinking of your collaborations, questioning, think about how you're going to market, and then also, no starving artist, no victim, think of how you're going to become also artist entrepreneurs. How are you going to get your art to move forward? and not just be something, I'm going to do something else safely. You have this dangerous business, this art business, you have to tell you that. But it's wonderful business. So this is what we want to urge you to do. Enough from me, right? You'll hear much more again afterwards, and we're going to show you some parts of 
activities here if you like. So I want to introduce you in turn to each I'm going to have to ask them to all move to the front because they're all at the back anymore. Come to the front of the maxi, please. <laughs> they're all city gates in the waiting at the back of the maxi, they're full. So just, just for this week, let me introduce my colleague, Dr. Nicole Roberts, who you all saw, who is part of the Center for Language Learning, the CLL. She does a few quick words for you about languages, please. Hi, I'm Hopefully we see some of you at the CLL over the course of the year. You may have heard that there's a foreign language requirement, so you're required to do one semester of foreign language, um, which would be French, Spanish, uh, Chinese, Japanese. But after you finish the one semester, make some time to continue. Learn the culture, learn the language. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, and I've got some just flyers with some information. So you can grab on your way out. Yes, and we will certainly encourage. Thank you very much. Yes. So the first of our persons this morning is Dr. Raymond Weeks, Dr. Tree um, for Travis, um, part of our international company from St. Lucia. He will introduce himself and then he will introduce um, um, his particular activity. He is the coordinator of the theater arts unit. Dr. Weeks, you have the floor. You can Thank you very me. much. Right. <laughs> Just interesting. Do I introduce them to the activity or we all introduce them? The is <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> all right, thank you. Uh, stand up. There we go. Sit down. <laughs> Hands up. In. Up. Out. Down. Stand up. Down. Good. So, theater, as you know, is very physical. Yeah? There is not just mind and sitting and this thing, but the body is the instrument of theater. You all know that, right? So I'm theater lecturer. Um, official name, first name on the birth certificate is Raymond. I don't like that name, right? The time I born, it's Travis a. Herring. I'm Travis, right? So Dr. Raymond Travis Charles. It's a long name. When you come from a Catholic country like St. Lucia, then they give you a saint name, then your godmother give you a name, your godfather give you another one, and you have a whole heap of names. Yeah, I could, right? When I was naming my children, I gave the first just one name they have. And the city. You don't have all the names. Yeah. Alright, so welcome to theater. Um the coordinator and the lecturer. And you all know Mr. Lakai. Um, you know, he's my right hand left hand. He was at DCP before I was born, so I learned a lot from him as well. And you will learn a lot from him as well. Two. Um, I want to do a simple activity with you, uh, before I turn you over to the other coordinators. Um, I am from St. Lucia, as Mr. Murray said. Now, in St. Lucia, we have two languages. Um, we have English, that's what I'm speaking. Can any of you guess what the other one is? Creole. That's it. Creole, we call it Creole, you call it Pato. Right? Same thing. Just recently, I went to Palavin and I had a great time listening to all and participating in the guys playing the bongo songs, which were, some of which were in Creole. I really like it. So I want to do a little game with you that involves Creole Pato. All right? Great. Now, call and response is a very important part of Caribbean culture, the musical culture, the theater culture, the oral tradition. So we're going to do some of that, right? I want you to say for me your response is Sai Wa. Sai Wa. Sai Wa. Sai Wa. Right, so I am the lead, and when I throw the line, you respond Sai Wa. You got it? Magotin lava bad kabile. Saiwa. Magotin lava bad kabile. Saiwa. Kili do kisi mavele. Saiwa. Kili do kisi mavele. Saiwa. Great. Very good. I'm going to teach you just a few words in Quiwa that pertains to the parts of the body. The first one is tet. 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 You learned better than me if you don't know already. Uh, incidentally, it's the same word in French, right? Uh, next one is four. 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 Right, they said four. 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 four head. So you have ten, you have four. Then you have zebol. 
Shoulders, you got that? <laughs> okay. Alright, and last one for them. Wah. 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 Alright, somebody recap for me. Right, people, right, good. <laughs> Excellent, good. So, listen to us for you, do So, but respond. Magotin Lababa Kabili Saiwa Magotin Lababa Kabili Saiwa Kili do Kisi Mabili Saiwa Kili do Kisi Mabili Saiwa Anche be a tefunue Saiwa Anche be a four punue Saiwa Anche be zipol punue Saiwa Anche be a wa punue Saiwa Good, stand up <laughs> Face the partner, no partner, face them. <laughs> uh, guess what? When you get the instructions, um, well, I think first you have to, in these days, in 2023, you have to get the permission. So I guess. But these parts, you won't touch your partner, I just mentioned, right? So make sure that's okay with them. Right? Alright? So, so we have set, we have four, we have zero, we have one. When I get the, give the instruction, you touch. The other person, the part that I just mentioned. Oh. Right? Okay. All right. And you sing at the same time. And you really get this focus and concentration and different parts of your brain have to coordinate. Magotin Lababad Kabili. Magotin Lababad Kabili. Kidu Kisi Mabele. Kidu Kisi Mabele. Anchebea Tepulue. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Lakai, Brenda. Magotin Lava Bad Kabili. Magotin Lava Bad Kabili. Kidu Kisi Mabili. Kidu Kisi. Wait, wait, wait. All that is coordination. I have to go play drama to get the rhythm. Here we go. Magotin Lava Bad Kabili. to belong to, 
and you are now going to be speaking a universal language and that language is creativity it is universal and you're part of that and you're going to hone the skills that you've been gathering throughout your entire life to bring you here at this moment in time and it will all culminate and come together so what I want to do with you all today is that we are going to become live human sculptures. So you're going to have to bundle in groups and you're going to have to create forms. And it's very simple. This is what you would have learned in secondary schools. You're going to create either shapes or forms that are organic. So it doesn't have to be geometric. A geometric form, it can be an organic form. And I think we need people for that. So I want to use maybe two rows, and we'll have to choose a section, choose a section, choose a section. Yeah? So Ansel and Mr. Cummings, maybe you all can be a lead in a section. All right? Let's just call in names that I know off the top of my head. Daniela, Jamie, <laughs> Sharon. Well, you know you're going to be good. Oh, you know. You said, see, see, you're Friday, right? Nice. Okay, yeah. So you just take a section where people can come up, create a structural form. Um, you can do one here. Do we have enough room on, on, in the back there? Yeah. We can do another one there. Uh, do we have room there? Yeah. Yes, we can do one there. So you can go to the front there. Maybe we can do a middle. Um, who else is there? Where is this coming? Is he up? No? I'm still here, right? Okay, so let's have two rows go to Ansel. And he will guide you. He's also his sister as a teacher. <laughs> um, parents, you don't have to go. We're going to ease you up. Or do you put you to a two year old? Send your parents, send your parents, send your parents. <laughs> Only parents who want to go, right? If you want to go, you go. Right? Um, Jamie, you can take the middle. Right? And I want two more rows to join Jamie. Jamie is wearing a black sweater. All right, and you all decide very quickly, just spend one minute to deliberate yeah, on the site. What you're going to do, remember, sculpture is something that you can have dimensions in it. So you can go low, middle, high. People choose your position. All right? Another two rows for another person. So we are now doing one sculpture. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't wear it. <laughs> Jamie, you have Daniela, you have anyone else? I don't know. <laughs> All right, no, well, I didn't put, yeah, okay, so Daniela, come because um, we, need, we need some space here, right? Okay, so you can probably stay right there, right where you are. Good, people go to Daniela, so two rows coming here, two rows going to Thank you. 
Okay, when I say inhale, but that inhale you will count, I say one, two, three, four. And then exhale, one, two, three, four. Right? Inhale. Breathe, breathe out. One, two, three, four, one more time. One, inhale. Two, three, four. Hold, hold, four counts. Not one time breathe out, hold, four counts. One, two, three, four, and exit. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time, last time, promise my last time. One, two, three, four, that is inhale. Hold, five, six, seven, eight, exit. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, how you feel all of you? Sit please. <laughs> Sit please. I know lots of information. You have to add up your, you have to, all information, you have to take yourself and think about them. That is our arts department, our DCFP, that is Department of Creative and Festival Arts. Let's go. Do a little movement. You are here. You are here. Let's go up.
those are just for degree students. Just to know. So if you were a, a degree student coming in this semester, you would want to take one of the priors. If you're a certificate student, you can look forward to that when you become one of our degree students. I think you might be happy to, to learn that we're not going to make you do any musical activities this morning. I will save that for Friday. Um, I think we've had All right, all right. Now, all right, we're going to... I think Mr. is going to take us through sure. um, other... Sure. Uh, Mr. Delas will, will, will help you. So just break your hands your feet. You don't have to move. Just break your hands and your feet. Break your hands and your feet. If you go in front of the screen, but if you ask about your chair, then you can see it because it's a seated activity. Oh, yes. It's going to start relatively simple, so don't, 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 don't panic. Left foot, right foot. Right? That, that's easy, right? Don't worry, the others give you all kinds of different things and depth and not crap, crap, crap. We give you the left foot, right foot. So, left foot is going to be four counts, or the foot that's whichever one you want to use is four counts. It's as easy as this. One, two, three, four. I know you're probably suspicious, but I promise you it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I know you're waiting for something to happen. Two, three, four. Good. So let's now use the next foot as the next leg foot as one, two, one, two. So therefore, this one is going one, two, one, two. One, two, one. When you put the two together, it becomes, all right, the set for this, it becomes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, together, two, one, two, nice, 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 nice. So, non-writing hand. I'm a right-hander, so my non-writing hand is left if you are but you will count the maths. So therefore, we're going to do one, 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 one. One, one, one. Don't get faster. Musicians like steady tempo. This one, the right hand, is going to go twice as fast. It's going to get a little tricky, so it becomes this. Ha, ha, ha. ourselves on that in assisting you with the delivery of our certificate and degree programs. Um, starting on this side, this is Mr. Satinan Sharma. He has been the, the coordinator. He's, he's a former, like me, he's a, form, he's a former head of the department. And I say I'm former too because it's my another wrong, so that's another story. He's a former head and he just relinquished being coordinator after must be 
um, eight years, eight, ten years, all right? Um, but he's a lecturer in music. Um, we've been delighted and thank you so much for what you have been doing for us as well. Um, this is Mr. Keon Delas, who's an instructor in, yes, who's an instructor in music, um, who also leads, and we co-lead some of the Assams together. He's also a graduate of the DCFA, who has returned. This is Mr. Brennan Lakai, who is an instructor in theater, also a graduate. And in fact, I'll tell you, give away both of their stories, both of them are also doctoral students at the moment at the University of the West Indies and Cultural so there is serious business going on here, right? This is Dr. Travis Weeks, who is a coordinator of the Theatre Arts Unit. You've been introduced to him before. This is Kelly Randall, who you just met with music. This is Devlin Paul Dance, and this is Michelle Boyd, who um, is visual arts. Critically important as head, these are the people besides teaching. We all teach, including myself. But when matters, when you need anything, where there's problems, whether you need to think about going on an exchange, whether you have queries, besides your lecturers, your coordinators. Find your coordinators, know them, know their faces. All of us are located in the Cheeseman building. Our names are on the doors. Come see us. But you will also check with your lecturers. One of the things that we want to emphasize, you will be emphasized on Friday, your first point of contact is clearly your lecturer. If you have a difficulty or a discussion or a major question, talk to your lecturer first. If it's not resolved, see your coordinators. If the coordinators can't solve it, they'll bump it to the, deep, to the head. And if I can't solve it, or if I agree with them and you wish to appeal, you can go all the way through the office of the dean. And But your final point of appeal on the campus is the deputy principal. If you write, however, to the deputy principal, the deputy principal will just send it right back to my inbox. And then I'll have to go to their inbox and find out what it's all about. Speak with us in all the ways. I really mean about the collaboration across the department. Um, dance has many has a major production in this particular um, semester or in the next. All this, uh, and all of our activities are open to even, yes, parents, guardians, once you can make the commitment. Um, visual arts has courses which are open to, some of them open to anybody, others which are more specialized, but they're open as activities. Music has, there are five, six Assams plus other activities, and you will um, 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 as well. And then theater has two sets of major production, the student, um, um, directed productions at the end of this semester, and there's a major production in the second semester of the department. And we are always looking for people both within and without, and in your various disciplines. Learn now how to make those collaborations. I'm not just a musician, or I'm, not, I'm a visual artist, and I, mm -mm. Learn to work across the disciplines, because this is going to be your life. And we particularly want to invite you to it, you um, want to say that in closing, you all would have had choices. Many of you all have had choices, both within Trinidad and Tobago, within the wider Caribbean region, and internationally. But you chose us. We are going to work very hard to make it worth your while. And as a matter, I'm saying this almost as a half smile or not, some of you all, most of you all, had to make a certain standard to get in. We're going to hold you to that. There's no easy path to graduation except do what we ask you to do, question, add to it, and then you leave. But when we put the UE, the CFA, UE brand on you, it's worth something. And we intend to ensure that we um, have to leave with that brand. If we are falling short, that's exactly what I said downstairs or upstairs, question, tell us. When we are falling short, we take that very seriously, not defensively, because you are purchasing an education. And we intend to ensure that when you purchase it, you purchase it at the highest level possible. Very important, that's our contract with you. As we end up, any questions, before I just remind you about orientation Friday, any questions based on from this morning that anybody had a thing that they wanted to pose? Any? Yes. Um, in terms of the prerequisites, we have to do like language and stuff. If you did Are you language. your degree? Sorry, did you repeat? Are you, you are, what degree programs? 
the uh, visual arts. Yeah. Yes, okay, so go ahead. Once, once we talk about language requirement, it's about the degree. Please continue. Um, so if you say the degree in Spanish already, they might like, give you a tech or something, and you got Right. If you have that, when you sit with your advisor, that's yours. You are, there's a whole sort of things that will not apply to you. And in fact, any of you here who may have done uh, different um, prior degrees or other courses of study, we can get you some things where you don't have to repeat certain types of courses. That's right. But you have to sit with your advisor. Your advisor will um, let you know so you don't go uh, putting through everything else. All right. For sure. So make sure you have that conversation with your advisor. Others? Any other questions? Anybody? This is probably the quietest we'll ever have you. Yes. You can stand and so yes. we can hear, hear you. Yes. When you talk about the shuttle and so on, that is a strange. Yes. So the shuttle, you all are off from main campus, you're the CFA compound, which means, or we can tell you now, um, especially these days, which is very warm, it's about a 10, maybe 15 minutes to um, the odd classes that you will have on the main campus. And there is a shuttle that goes back and forth. We will either have the shuttle come twice on the mornings, but on the hour, um, every hour on the afternoons. If we are falling short of that, if you're not getting the service, please let us know. Another person, set of persons you can let know are your guild. We will hand in hand together, tell the, the, the university, our main campus, we need our shuttles and we need them on time. Yes, yeah, so we'll be working on that, especially at night, after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, I have to tell you, yes, you are legally allowed to walk out. Legally allowed to walk out of DC if it's the main road. Morally, we are obliged to stop our car and say, get in. I'm telling you now. If I see you walking at 8.30, I'm going to identify myself with my ID and say, have a seat. <laughs> yeah, because we live in interesting times. Right. There are people and there are guards who will, uh, they will gladly, sometimes you may have to wait a little longer at night, but wait, and then let the shuttle take you down to the main room. Right? And this is not limited to UB. I, I went to university away, and some of us have as well. Anywhere that you have tertiary education, there are mad people who come around and say, we are interested in you. I'm sorry, there, there's something about tertiary education. I don't know if it's the brain trust. People are just more interested in us. This is not limited to UB St. Augustine. All right, uh, so you always have to be careful about what you do um, um, there. Other questions? Liking, liking these questions? Just yes. a clarification on the academic advising mm -hmm. tomorrow, Wednesday. All right, so the academic advising will take place tomorrow, Wednesday, and Friday morning at the faculty building. How do you know the faculty building on campus? It's a building with a clock. It's also, for those of you who eat meat, I don't, it's next to KFC. <laughs> I just need to point that out. All right, so that's that academic advice. Good question. Do I choose, like this side, this side, come tomorrow? It's walking. It's walking. Just no walking. appointment. No appointment. You come in, they will, somebody at the door mm -hmm. will say, okay, it's hurt, and then they will tell you where to go. In. No appointment. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday morning, the Friday afternoon, all of you here will be coming to the DCFA, on, you can either enter from what's called Gordon Street, which is the northern side, or from Cheeseman Avenue. Cheeseman, please learn to spell it, there's only two E's. It's not cheese like in cheese, it's C-H-E-E-S-M-A-N. Don't put in the extra piece. It's almost like chestnut, but it's E, so it's cheese. Never mind, we'll get used to it. <laughs> all right, yes. Other questions? These are all really important for everybody to hear. Any other questions, please? Yes, you can stand because we want you don't understand? Okay, then you can sit. Fridays. If you miss it? If you miss, if you? Miss. Uh huh. Then we're going to call and be abusive. A smiling focus. No, no, some people work all sorts of things happening, but just make sure you in which division? You dance, so what you can do, see, see your dance coordinator, at least have a conversation because it's important for you. Orientation. Orientation or advising. 
Friday. Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You can make it, you can't make it in the morning or the afternoon. She can't make the afternoon the orientation. So yeah, so just no, just see the that because why we want to be able to do it is for you to get get the feel of the compound and ask the various questions to see the place because there are three distinct divisions which you'll find out. The one to the very east is the visual arts division. Then in the middle of it are the music studios and classrooms. And then there's the Cheeseman building. Yes, a substantial amount, which has two floors, including that studios, administrative offices, and classrooms. Excuse me, Sir Marie. Yes. Just to make sure she's clear, not mixing them up. No, orientation. So the orientation is ready after. Yes. Yes. So you have to advise it from tomorrow. Yeah, no, she has to Yes. Right. Thank you for, for helping with the clarification. Any other questions, please? Yes. So on so on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday morning, are uh, the walk-in academic advising on main campus. Yeah, we have that there. That's for everybody. You must go to, you must attend that in order to be unblocked. Otherwise, if you advise yourself, that's great, it's nice, you can try. But if you want to try to register, you will not be able to register. You're all at the moment blocked from registering until one of us signs. And then you take it to the person, and the he will then unlock you. So that's one part of it. Friday is the orientation, is the meet and greet orientation, Friday afternoon, for everybody here at the facility, so you get to go with your, um, your unit coordinator, who will guide you through the system of what happens at the CFA. Yes, go ahead. Sorry? Unfriended until you see <laughs> well, I'm telling you, which, which of the unfriendly you mean with the blocking? You want the blocking? Yeah, that's university wide. In fact, to tell you the truth, no, I know you have another question, to tell you the truth, a few years ago they also decided for your last year of study, they blocked everybody to ensure that as you leave, that you have the correct courses. Because I have to tell you all, when you don't follow advice, some of us here, and I've been one of them, is the hardest thing to tell somebody in April of the graduation year you missed the course and you're not going to graduate. It's the most unpleasant part. In fact, somebody once, I don't know how they managed, they purchased their graduation down. And I had to say, um, you're not going to be graduating. These are not conversations that we want necessarily to have. Um, and there are checks and balances involved. I haven't forgotten your question. Especially those of you all in the degree, you'll hear the words, it wasn't discussed this morning. There's something called the degree audit. You go online and ask for this audit. That response from the faculty is a legal document telling you how, how many courses you have in your final year to take to graduate. If there's an error on that form, that's almost as caught. I have to also tell you, and this, is, this will not give you comfort, but we, our advisors here are all well trained, but if we make a mistake, they're still not legally accountable. The advisors. Yes. But we do our best, and we have had many, every year we have advising training. In fact, we had one two weeks ago to ensure that we're giving you the information that you need. Because, yeah, we, we have to have it at our fingertips. Your question, your continuous question, go ahead. So, uh, so the insurance side, um, some, say, she's not Yeah. All right, so let, let's clarify. For those who are in dance theater, the orientation will take place in the Cheeseman building. For those in music, it will take place at music studio, which is four, music studio four. Which is and, right next door. Right, and for those who are in visual arts, it will take place in what is called the drawing studio. And they're sat, one of the nice things about all the department, they are signs everywhere. Yes? Academic advising is at Humanities and Education, but the orientation is at TCF. Yeah, no, 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 it's very important to ask that because other people want to ask, but no, I don't ask. I go, no, 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 ask a lot. And this is why they have to do their lectures. Right? Don't sit down and look right. <laughs> All right? Like, yeah, there, and you know, there's some of you all here who are nodders. Yeah, yeah, you're not hearing a word, but you're nodding. Yes? All right, don't nod it, ask questions. Any other questions, please? Right? We, we, we're on a roll here with questions. 
We're going to play all the video. We have, we have enough of videos today. Any other questions, please? Yes. Actually, it's already on, it's already on. All right. So, when will you all know your timetables? One, they are going to be listed. They are up. Two, DCFA. They will be up on the DCFA um, on our own website. They'll be posted. In fact, they should be there already. We're just doing final tweaks. Also, the campus, UWE campus, has um, a timetable. You can just put in your course um, there, and it will also come up. It's already there. I know that for sure. And when you're looking at courses, the University of the West is part of your pre-orientation. All of your courses have four letters as, as your discipline. So dance is D-A-N-C, visual art is V-A-R-T, music is M-U-S-C, and theater is T-H-E-A. So you put that in, you put in the course code, and it will come up telling you where you are. Right, so the timetable is set and accessible. Plus, when you enter the building, we will also have it up as well. Love these questions. Yes. Right. So your payment schedule, you will be can give you some advice. However, once you enroll in what is called the campus is called um, fee pay. Fee pay will tell you exactly the installments, and they are normally at the end of September, October and November, and they send you reminders. They will tell you your installment is due, your installment is due, your installment is due. And folks, I really want you to, to, to make sure that you keep up with your um, things, because otherwise you'll get something called an AR hold, accounts receivable, which means you can't see what is there. And the university um, can impose that on you until you clear your balance. But they will let you know. And again, if you have any difficulty, always come and see us. Because we can look, even if you are blocked, we can look inside your system and give you an idea. You were just about to ask a question. I was about to ask if, um, if you can do your payments. Um, if you can still do your payment, because you said that it will be at September. Oh, no, no, no. You mean if you, if you want to do it all in one? No. If you, um, if you want to do your payment, if you'll be allowed to do your payment before, because you said that uh, it will be at September, October. All right. Here's the end process. I think this is where you're asking. Folks, first thing you have to do, three things that I mentioned on this morning. Advice. Once you advise and you unlock, the next thing you have to do is to register. You can't pay before you register because the university will not know what, they are, what you're paying for. So the first thing, be advised. Second thing, register. This will be emphasized on Friday. And once you're there, once you are registered, you can go on to fee pay, they're connected, they will tell you what the cost is, and then you can start your payments either directly or whether you have applied for gate and whether you have a particular balance that is there. There are tuition fees and there are compulsory fees. Those of you all who are doing GATE, GATE will cover your tuition fees only. Everybody must pay your compulsory fees, which is approximately, it's 1465 I think, at the beginning of the first year. You must pay that. Susan, sorry, if I may, um, but if you wish to pay all upfront to all the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you want to pay all before the installment, once you're registered, absolutely, the university will say fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, only when you are what is called the question was at what point will you get a UV ID when you what is called you are financially clear. And they will explain that to you on Friday. You must be financially clear. Now I have to put even though we have we're put on the little since we are friends and we're part of family, we have a bit of the unclean linen from our department. Too many students don't register on time. You would have heard that this morning. And sometimes sit in classes. We have normally given people six weeks. They said that six weeks this morning. As head, I'm letting you know, at the end of one month, if you're not registered, you're going to be asked to go to the faculty office. Because some persons sometimes have left things to dribble 
all the way to the end of the semester when we can't help you. And we will do our best to actually to identify you and say, hey, you're not registered. We know that things happen, but please register and then follow up with the payment plans. Anytime you have a problem, don't be afraid to come and see us. We will tell you whom to speak. That's why we're here. But it's really important that you do that so that we can help you. Right? Our, our department has not always had the best record with following through. So that's why I want to exhort you and your parents here to ensure that once you register, that you follow through. And if you don't register, then what happens to is that you can't get onto things like our electronic learning platform, my e-learning. Some of us teach exclusively on that. And if you're not on it, it means you can't take part in the course um, well. So we want to encourage you with that truck. Any other questions? Linen has been cleaned. Yes, two others. One, two. So for, for me, right? Um, hold on. Like when, when they don't sign up on such a thing, um, yeah, it's supposed to wait a certain time period for them to connect to you and then reply back to you. Right, right. Gonna, all right, so the question is about gate. Okay. Now, gate, first of all, the gate office is still just down the road from DCFA. If you have problems, leave, leave your class. If you go, money is important, go down by the gate office. It's right near to, 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 to the our DCFA. Gate, you can, one, you can, you can set up your account beforehand and then you can make the connection online. What happens with GATE is that you will probably be financially cleared, but GATE always takes its time, but that's not your fault, that's the university and GATE. We do make sure that you have made your application to GATE so they can assess you once your courses are registered. Yeah, um, but well, I already did that and they already told that it's the it's receiver. Right. They will let you know when everything is once you're financially cleared, that means that Gate and University are having a pleasant conversation. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gate will not pay the university until, until. That's not your problem. You just make sure the conversation ends with you're financially cleared. And you just, you know, and you just say, hey, we will take care of the rest of it. Thank you. Your hand has been going up a number of times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought I understood about the process so I'm going to turn it down rhetorically so I can follow the pressure. There's a lot of things that are happening that are being more and more disconnected in my mind. So I'll, I'll use a concrete example. Somebody doing visual arts. Coming to your advice report, they're going to tell you what one of the compulsory courses that you have to register for. And what about the electives? Right. So when they come to Mrs. Boyd, but she was here, sir, they are going to pull out a sheet which is going to have on it these courses are core and these courses and we are suggesting that you take these as electives. You will you all will agree on it. They will both sign, they go next the door, unlocked, register for those five courses if it's full time. That's it. In the case of music, I can tell you now, musicians, yes, I said it on that day, I, I hope you're next. You have no electives. Level one, you have no electives. No, what you see is what you get. Level two, level three, happiness. Huh? Level three, level three, happiness. Go, go, forget your question. Put a little power. Yes? Answer? That part, so it's the advice. What? No, I think so when we get too complex, look, it's one of both ways. Yeah. The part, I'm too German, right? So, what we say is, get in her, I love it, yes. So, now, what you do, you're making this complex. Paper, five horses, going to my secure area, they will show you what to do. Select, select, one, two, three, four, five, enter. Boom, these are your fees, free sheet, good, go to be paid. Fine, put in the PT there, blah, 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 settle, boom, a few days later, you are financially clear. However, you do have to pay, as I said, they will tell you what fees need to be done. Please notice, you advise, step one. Step two, you have to register yourself. And then three, pay fees. That's it. All the things you saw in between are, well, if, and then, those are lawyers, if, then, and then perhaps semicolon, and then very much at the end of the whole stuff. I think we worry too much with the population of the commas and the semicolons. Not the whole stuff, right? 
And yes, we are, we are we're a little bit, we can answer some things about it, but most of the questions about it have to be learned directly with them. And we normally tend to say, instead of writing to them, just go down early in the morning, you know, get in line, and let a counselor speak with you. Because they never answer their phones, and uh, everything else. Anything else from anybody? Well, we will see you, some of us will, some of the advisors will see you at the recap Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday morning, right, at 10 to 12, at 1 to 4, at the Humanity Building for advising, which you will then follow up with registration and payment. Okay, all right, good. And the other thing is, I just have a notebook check, is that on Friday, we meet at DCFA for orientation and for any stragglers advising. For any stragglers advising, but we are meeting for orientation. Mr. So Lacan, make your, your announcement, yeah. please. Good, good morning again. Um, for the Tech Theater Certificate students, uh, those of you who are advised by me, there was a, a note on the schedule that said that you had academic advising this afternoon. Um, I realize that the schedule has changed, so um, so you take it, do the advising tomorrow, and not this afternoon. I know that a number of you had planned. I have to apologize. I just found out about that. Yeah. Uh, the committee check the down there. Yeah. Because we could, yes. Oh, we could probably uh, 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 no, 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 no. We're going to do that today. We're going to do that today. We're going to do that today. All right. So we, what time is it supposed to be 1 o'clock? Yeah, we are, I said from 1. And where? At? At, thing, but we could, wherever? Let's have, let's do the cheese man, and we'll get some, we'll, we'll print out those things. No, 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 we've right. we been there today. These are people here yeah. from working in theater, so yeah. what? Yes. yes. So we can do that? Yes. yes. Um, well, I guess if anybody from music who wanted to do this afternoon as well, could that be over there? All right, well, I mean, if, if we're all going to be in there, so if anybody, if you want to come visit with us this afternoon at Cheeseman, we're going to be there, some of us, so please, stop by, repeat it. So technical theater persons, at one o'clock, we're going to meet you available, or yeah, some week, some week yeah. right? So we'll have you, because your, your advising is easy, right? So we're going to meet you at DCFA, this is up on Water Street, slash Cheeseman, technical theater people, right? We meet you for one o'clock. Right. Yes, sir. Quick last question. Right. I don't know. I don't know about all I know. Us is advising Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and DCF orientation is on Friday. There may be something to part with first year experience. That's entirely different. You can check and see what their schedule is. That's what the DSSD is handling. All right. Yeah. Quick question from the back. Yes. It depends on the discipline. Yours is? For visual arts, are you doing split times, Mrs. Mrs. Boyd, or it's together on Friday? On Friday, I will be down at FHE. No, in the afternoon. In the afternoon? I, yeah, I won't take a call at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, she said everybody, everybody's visual arts is at 1 o'clock. Music is going to be at, um, certificate is at 1, the degree is at 2.30, right? And then the theater and dance will be at 1 o'clock on Friday. Yeah? Great. Well, again, 1 o'clock for the certificate class. In which is the visual arts for this, for visual arts will all be together. Uh, on Friday at one o'clock. Yes. In the joint, in the joint studio. Yes. And we have people um, helping you all directly in your available places. Yes. All right. Okay, so we'll be here for all. If you have any further questions, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.